This is live TV. I was reading my cards, but my cards are long, so here we go. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 craziest live TV fails of 2020. Are you okay? Oh my gosh. He's fine. I got it. Don't tell the world. Oh, you better get home then. Okay. For this list, we'll be looking at the biggest blunders that people committed when small screen cameras couldn't stop rolling. What do you think was the biggest on-screen fail of 2020? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, drinking with a mask on. Did you not realize your mask was on? Of course I realized the mask was on. I thought it was funny. There's nothing better than enjoying a cool drink after competing in a sport. But NASCAR driver Ryan Blaney ran into a little bit of a hurdle after completing a race earlier this year. While he was live on camera, he attempted to drink some water through his mask. Good run tonight for Blaney. Tough to do with those masks, I'll tell you. Instead of quenching his thirst, the liquid appeared to soak Blaney's mask. Although he later claimed that he did this on purpose just to have fun, we still think the joke is on him for attempting this drinking method. Whether Blaney's drink fail was an intentional move or not, we will still raise a glass to him for leaving us in stitches. Gordon, I didn't get any. Nothing goes in them things, so uh, it works. Number nine, underdressed for the weather. Let's get a check on the forecast now with Storm Team meteorologist Paul Deano. Hey, Paul. During a live news broadcast for WMAQ-TV in Chicago, the station decided to transition from a White House press conference into the weather report. But meteorologist Paul Deano wasn't quite camera ready. Let's get to Paul Deano for the latest on the weather. Not only was he completely unaware that Chicago was watching him, but he also neglected to wear pants to work that day. Deano's bare legs shine on camera for just over 10 seconds before he notices his mistake and cuts the camera feed. Although we sympathize with the act of not wearing pants while working from home, we'd recommend throwing on some slacks or any other article of clothing longer than the shorts Deano claims he was wearing, if you know you're going to be on live TV. Otherwise, your weather forecast will have a 100% chance of embarrassment. Try to get to Paul in just a little bit, and we'll be uh, right back after this. Number eight, Seacrest falls for a balloon, live with Kelly and Ryan. Apparently, uh, folks thought it was hysterical. Ryan Seacrest is a man of many talents, but catching balloons is apparently not one of them. During an episode of Live with Kelly and Ryan, Seacrest tries to catch a golden balloon falling from above. Unfortunately, he loses his balance, tumbles over his office chair, and onto the show's stage. Are you okay? Are you okay? His co-host Kelly and a crew member rush to his side to assess the damage. Luckily, Seacrest is all smiles. He even triumphantly holds up the balloon after the incident. We're glad he wasn't hurt during his failed catch attempt. If he was, we'd feel a lot more guilty about re-watching his fall on a constant loop every day. I saw your leg get... <laughs> no, your my leg, leg is... did something very strange. What leg? <laughs> Number seven, Justin Turner's inconsiderate celebratory actions. We were told after the game he tested positive for COVID, so this is Turner obviously informed. When then Los Angeles Dodgers third baseman Justin Turner found out he tested positive for the coronavirus disease during the World Series, he agreed to leave the game and isolate himself. But when his team won the title later that day, he returned to the field. Live viewers watched him kiss his wife without a mask and take a photo with his teammates with an uncovered face. After news outlets called out his controversial decision, Turner explained and apologized for his actions. Although we understand why he wanted to celebrate this huge win with his teammates, he shouldn't have risked their health and safety by neglecting to wear a mask. Don't tell the world. Number six, NFL players get booed. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us in a moment of silence dedicated to the ongoing fight for equality in our country. Over the course of 2020, millions of people have protested racial injustice and promoted equality for all. The Kansas City Chiefs and Houston Texans aim to continue that trend by promoting a message of unity. They planned for all the players to stand together and observe a moment of silence during their first live game. But once the athletes from both teams linked arms, the crowd started booing. The players continued to hold their composure as a chorus of negative reactions rang across the field. It was disheartening for viewers to see a peaceful display being treated so harshly. The crowd's boos seemed to suggest that society hasn't achieved unity just yet. The booing was unfortunate during that moment. I don't, I don't fully understand that. Uh, there was no 
flag involved. There was nothing involved with that besides two teams coming together to show unity. Number five, a failure to launch Zoom. 72nd Primetime Emmy Awards. Will the Emmy go to Uzo, Tony, Margo, Holland, Tracy, or G... G Hold on, that's not Tracy Ullman. Who is that? You would think that making an award show into a completely virtual experience would make it pretty easy for all the nominees to attend. But that wasn't the case for the 72nd Primetime Emmy Awards. Uzo Aduba, Mrs. America. There were multiple instances where the nominees didn't call into the show. Instead of live video feeds, we got static headshots of celebrities. I, I want to um, show gratitude to all the women in this category. Um, you are the reason why I'm acting in the first place, so thank you. We understand that famous people might have conflicts, but the virtual format made it more awkward and noticeable when someone failed to show up. The absent celebs should have done what Tracy Ullman did and hired Tracy Morgan to fill in for them. Tracy, you're in Tracy Ullman's spot. I know she called me and told me to fill in for her. Number four, the fire fiasco, 72nd Primetime Emmy Awards. Not everyone stayed at home tonight. Here to kick things off in the flesh, she is my friend and yours. Please welcome Emmy winner Jennifer Aniston. No shows weren't the only Emmys fail in 2020. While presenting the award for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series, Jimmy Kimmel covered the awards envelope in disinfectant spray and lit it on fire in a trash can. Light it up. All right. Yeah. Wait five seconds. Jennifer Aniston was supposed to immediately extinguish it, but the flames wouldn't go out so easily. After a few tries and a voice yelling off camera to put it out, the garbage fire died down. Now, this is exciting. Oh, oh shoot, <laughs> We are delivering Emmys live to some of the winning nominees in their home. But even if the gag had worked as intended, many people found that jokes about flames after 2020's terrible US wildfire season were in poor taste. Overall, this Emmys gag should have been left on the cutting room floor. Oh, you better get home then. Okay. Number three. Elimination mix-up with Tyra Banks, Dancing with the Stars. And the couple with the lowest combined total will be eliminated. Being marked safe from elimination on a competition show is a great feeling. But that relief was almost taken away live on air from one Dancing with the Stars couple. Host Tyra Banks originally told Monica Aldama and her partner Val Shmurkovsky they were safe. Monica and Val. <laughs> But when three couples were left standing on stage, a huge mistake was uncovered. Monica was actually supposed to be in the bottom two. She had to come back on stage with her partner to await her fate while two confused couples walked off camera. While Monica went on to survive her elimination, Banks proceeded to apologize multiple times for the incident. Hopefully this big slip up won't get the host eliminated from her hosting duties next season. This is live TV, I was reading my cards, but my cards are long, so here we go. Number two. Mike Milbury makes an inappropriate comment on air. A special group has come together to create two isolated bubbles. In 2020, the NHL chose to put its players in a bubble where they would have limited access to see people who weren't directly involved with the games. Sports announcer and ex-Boston Bruins player Mike Milbury decided to give his two cents about this decision during a live playoff game. If you enjoy playing and enjoy being with your teammates for long periods of time, it's a perfect place. Not even any woman had to disrupt their uh, concentration. He remarked that players inside the NHL bubble don't have, quote, any women to disrupt their concentration. Milbury's misogynistic comments received immediate backlash from the public and the NHL. He quickly apologized for what he said and decided not to work on the rest of the playoff games for the season. There was clearly no room in the NHL for Milbury's distasteful attempt at a joke, nor for his disruptions. They're not all gonna be pretty. This wasn't the prettiest. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, the not so great debaters. I'm not here to call out his lies. Everybody knows he's a liar. The first 2020 presidential debate was nothing less than an absolute disaster. Both Joseph Biden and Donald Trump tried to talk over each other throughout the evening. 
They also traded insults like they were children on the schoolyard. A gentleman, Europe, wait, wait, which no, was heavily Mr. President, you, you would have been President, much later, Joe. Mr. President, much later. Mr. President, you're talking about two million people. Although moderator Chris Wallace tried to get the candidates to stay on track, Trump and Biden kept interrupting him and each other. He has Obama never cared, done a single thing. As you might thing. know, but probably does. No, Obama gentlemen, Obama you realize no if you're good, both Joe. speaking at the it's same no time. The night was such a train wreck that mics were muted at certain points for the second debate. Although viewers may have disagreed on issues or who they wanted to win, they could all agree on one thing. A presidential debate should never look like this. Radical Question. left. Will you who shut is up, on, man. Listen, who is on your list, Joe? Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.